In this tutorial, we're going to cover off how to create and send an email newsletter. Most important thing to remember is that a newsletter is sent to one of your groups or groups within your contacts. So going to contact definitions, you can see what groups you've got created for your website and the number of contacts in each group. Being a demo site, naturally, this only has two. Now, very good form is to create a test email group to put yourself and maybe one other uh, email address into it so that you can run tests on the emails that you are creating. Now, so once you have your group there and you know you have your, your members associated to the groups, we'll go to the newsletter center. Now, from the newsletter center, in most cases you will have a default template already set up suitable for your website. Now, the simplest thing to do from here is to actually copy it. So we'll go to copy content, which means that we can start a new newsletter without actually having to create all of the nice formatting. Now the admin name is just what you see from the admin view. So I'm going to say newsletter number one, and we'll say it's 10 March. Now the subject line, very important, it should be interesting enough to want, make people want to open your email. So let's call this interesting subject line. The from email, naturally, it's from the email address that you want to send out to. It will also be the one that people can reply to and or that you will receive bounce emails on, which is emails where the address is no longer valid. Now, the email body. As you can see here, this is a very, very basic setup. Now, you can add in images, text, links, and so forth. Now, the funny part in the middle here, where it says contact name if, is a a quick tag. Basically when it sends out the system will look for the contact that it's sending the email to and replace this tag with their first name. Now to get a list of what ones are available we'll go up to our snippets, click on snippets and there is a list of the different tags available. So things like today's date, uh, contact email, the, what what, the full name and you can just insert these onto the page as required. So we've got our, our bulk of our email there. And we might want to put down on the bottom, by default we tend to have things like you are subscribed on this email and put the contacts email there. Very, very useful if somebody replies and says please take my email off, off your list because you need to know what email address you need to remove. You can have the automated unsubscribe text by doing this and unsubscribe we now have unsubscribe on the bottom of the email. So let's add new. So we have created a new base email. So if we now go to the profile of this email, we can see that there is no delivery time set as yet and there are no groups assigned to it. So we want to assign a group to this newsletter, test email group, add. So now we know that this template will send only to that group, which we saw before had two people in it. Now, I can test the email first by doing by typing one of the email addresses in the contact database and do send. So I've now sent this email out. Now, we may want to send this one later today. So let's do so 10th of March 1645 that sounds fine, we'll leave it for there. So we'll go update, it will come up in blue when it's successful and says News newsletter delivery time has been set as per below, which in this case 10th of March quarter to 5. And that's it, we leave it alone from there. Under the view all area, we'll see that we've got our template at the top here, it's scheduled for a single send, it was created today, as we can see half an hour before we're about to send the email out. Now, when the email sends, it will also send a confirmation of how many people the email went out to, to the email address on file. So, and that email is created at the end of the sending process. Um, and all, all email newsletters are sent out every 15 minutes, so look out for your one.